Good morning everybody! So today is going to be another vlog, as you would have guessed by now. Today is Wednesday, <clears throat> and instead of going over and seeing Nan today like we usually do, um, I'm taking my friend Daisy out, and technically she's taking me out, because we're gonna have a girly day out um, at the gym and like the health centre, so Daisy's like a member of David Lloyd, which in the UK is like basically like the top tier, I would say, like group, like chain of gyms. Um, it's ridiculous. I, I never go to it and I would never consider going to it. One, first and foremost, because of the price, but I've never been before. I'm just saying the price is like ridiculous. It's like £90 a month. I literally pay like £20 a month for my gym, um, but I've never been. So we'll see how amazing this is supposed to be. Um, but also it's like a it's like a health center, so it's massive. It's got like a sauna, steam rooms, hot tub, pool, indoor pool, outdoor pool, restaurant. So we're gonna make a day of it today. As you guys know, I'm into like I'm trying to introduce more fitness videos and like well-being videos into this channel. I've heard you say that you you know you you wanna see what I'm doing different or um, you know, my day-to-day -day lifestyle and workouts and things like that. So Although I can only vlog parts of that, um, especially in my local gym, I don't like filming because I always go on my own. I always gym on my own. I've just always done it that way and because I can be more focused, but also I get quite shy. Like I just do what I know. So I think it's going to be really good today to go with Daisy and have my, in, like show her what I do so she can try something different and she's going to show me what she does so I can try something different. Um, and then plus obviously it's going to be a nice girly day and I might even pop over and see Nan later so we might do that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd take you guys along with me today. I've just got ready. I've got my gym gear on. I've got my gym shark. This top is literally my favourite. I wish I got so much more of these. They're so comfy. This is like perfect fitting. I get the medium and everything at Gymshark and like the fit is just so beyond good because it's like, you know, stretchy enough but like it's secure enough like it's so good oh that's right i'm just going to show you what i got in london so um i went to london yesterday um for a meeting and work and then i passed by what's it called one of these shops the estee lauder cosmetic company shops you can get we got one in bridge end as well and in swindon and that but um as i was in sorry so yeah, you can keep an eye out for these shops because basically it's just all the cosmetic brands. Um, it's not just Estee Lauder stuff. It's all the brands under Lauder. Um, so I got in there this. I love my Glam Glow. So this is the Glam Glow. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? This is not a good start to the day. Um, Gala, Gala Sin, Sinti Cleanse? No idea. Hydrating Jelly Balm Cleanser. It says Valente Meteorite Powder. So this was £21, and apparently it's usually £29, um, and it looks like this, it looks really cool, I love my cleansers. Oh, it's like black, okay. I love cleansers, so I always thought that was a good thing to try, so I got one of those. And then I got this, I, look how pretty this packaging is from MAC. Um, so this was £17, it was meant to be £23.50, can you see how much I'm shaking? I don't know why this is. Um, so it's the Studio, Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder in Delphic. Um, and the packaging though, like I'm not even gonna lie, that's the main reason I bought this. But the shade's actually really nice too. It's a very, very warm bronzer. Um, with a little bit of shimmer through it. So got that, which I thought was a really good deal. But then the best deal that I got, not gonna lie, they do this, I've seen this before in the Swindon outlet as well. They do like a grab bag. So like you get so much stuff um, for 10 pounds. So this was like a 10 pound grab bag and it had um, basically all MAC products in it. So it's here. It had five items. So the first thing I got was the water weight concealer in NC25. There was actually two of these in there. So I gave one to mum um, and it just looks like this. The color's a little bit dark, but and a little bit pinky, but we'll see. I don't know, that was like, okay. So I got that. And then it came with this eyeshadow in Beauty Marked Velvet, which is like a burgundy shimmery color, like that. Um, and then I got a matte lipstick in Heroin, which as far as I know is a very popular shade. It's gonna be one that I just kind of don't think I'll wear that much because it's like bright purple, but 
I don't know, maybe I could rock this like October time. That could be quite nice. So heroin, I know that's like a cult one, so it's really cool to have that. But then the star of the show is this, the Caitlyn Jenner MAC collection in the shade Rocket. Okay, I don't even know they did this collection. I think maybe I've seen something about it a while ago. But I was like expecting, like fully expecting this color not to be anything nice. First of all, the packaging is so beautiful. Can you see this matte black and gold? But the color, oh my gosh, this nude is like the most perfect nude ever. I don't know, what's the finish, does it say? Oh, and it's a cream sheen. I love a cream sheen. It's so nice. So that was worth £10 on its own, but then obviously I got all the other stuff. So basically what I'm saying is if you ever, um, if you ever see an Estee Lauder, what's that called? it's not called Estee Lauder, it's called the company outlet, cosmetic company outlet, that's right, um, then keep keep an eye out because that is where um, a lot of the good deals are. I'm just watching Trisha's Paytas's video. As you guys know, I do love Trisha. I've got this like, I've got this thing with her, this love and hate, like I love her so much, but other times I'm just like, girl, you do not help yourself in any way, shape or form. But she has apparently had another, she had another one of her breakdown videos where she called, she's like, oh, I'm fat and la 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 la. Wouldn't be the first time that she's done that and you know, it kind of annoys me because she's sitting there most of the time in videos and doing mukbangs where she's eating ridiculous amounts of bad, bad food. Like, the girl's an adult. She knows what she's doing. She knows it's obviously not good for her. Um, and then she comes on and she'll cry about it. And, like, to me, that's just... I just don't get that at all. Like, you obviously know that you're doing something wrong in those videos you're not doing anything healthy but then obviously you want to be healthy and you want to have a good body and you want to be skinny like she's very obviously proud of being the size she is and I totally totally applaud her for that genuinely um <clears throat> but it just really frustrates me so this I left a comment on that video when she put out the one of her crying and she was like I'm fat la 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 I really felt her on that video though I really felt her like upset in herself so She's apparently on this weight loss journey and I'm following this journey because I really, really hope she can do it. I left a comment on that video saying, you know, we've heard this all before, but I wish you all the best of luck and I really, really hope you can take your own advice and just, you know, be healthier, be better for yourself, no one else. Um, oh, did she make it? Yay, my friend's on the bus. I love it. Her name's, um, I put like, oh, I can't show you because it's got her last name, but I put like, a little pizza next to her name. <laughs> um... So yeah, anyway, Trisha, I'm following. I'm watching her What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight video. Now, um, I've only watched the beginning bit, but basically she's just drinking like green juice and that. So I'm gonna watch the rest of it and see what she what she does because um I'll be really interesting. But I'm also interested to see how long this lasts, because I'm really frustrated if she just goes back to doing another like massive eating show or whatever, you know. So um uh, Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna watch this video and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Also, I forgot to show you. This is my daily drink. <clears throat> Apple cider vinegar. Fucking wild. This stuff is disgusting, but it's so good for deep bloating. So good. I usually drink it really quickly, but I just wanted to show you a, a um, picture. So, Trisha, hang on, be quiet a minute. <clears throat> My friend Rain, you know Rain, um, from Australia. She just sent me a Snapchat of this picture when we were in Movie World. Oh, no, it's not Movie World. It's when we were at the wedding. You can see the wedding picture. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. Ah. Okay, chug. Blech. You guys, it literally tastes like it literally tastes like stomach bile. Like you know when you have a little bit of sick in your mouth. Sometimes, imagine that, but chugging it. It's disgusting, but it is good for you. I don't care what he says. It is good for you. I know there's like science that proves it and disproves it, la la la. But no, I fully put a part of my weight loss to apple cider vinegar, and also it has amazing health benefits, not just. Um, weight loss and it's more like de-bloating not even fat it, helps, it says it helps to remove stubborn belly fat but 
I don't know about that because I still got quite a lot of stuff of belly fat. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna have to leave the house in like two minutes to go get Daisy from town. Um, and then we'll see you later at the health center. On like heart rate, like because you hold these little metal things. So I think like if you obviously want to work out your heart rate, it's going to be higher. Okay. It's going to give you more accurate information. Alright, we go for another minute. So I'm such a noob, I forgot to film the rest of when we were at the club. So we got had a shower and got changed after we went in the pool and the hot tub and the sauna. And then we went to the restaurant and we had food and it was so good. I put it on my Instagram story, so I'll show you that after. But I've just come to Nan and Grandad's house because I didn't obviously get to see Nan today. Or Grandad, so I'm going to go in and say hi now. Hello, Nan. Hello, my dear. You on the iPad? Just, well, just messing around, but now they're all right. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm alright, thank you. I'm so, so sorry. Bad, 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 bad vlogger. Um, yeah, <laughs> might have been over Nan and Gramps, uh, Gramps, Nan and Grandad's, might have taken Nan out, might have gone shopping, might have forgot to film it all because one, we were stuck in traffic for a while, got me really agitated. Two, we got there and I kind of have to be all, I need all my arms basically because like obviously Nan can't carry stuff so I have to help her carry things. Holy crap, I need to dust my vanity. That's the only thing, when this sun comes in you can see every little detail of dust. Um, so, right, this is just my pet peeve, okay, I can't turn this around but this is from Dogs Trust. I sponsor a dog at Dogs Trust but I wish they would stop sending me this post because I don't even read it. 
it's just magazines and stuff like I know I should because I'm supporting the charity but at the end of the day like I just don't want like I don't want post it costs the money to send me I'd rather they just keep the one pound or whatever that obviously I've paid to help with their donation really annoying anyway um yeah I just went and got some stuff that I needed so I thought I'd just quickly show you well the lighting is beautiful so I just got some cotton pads um by the way, you always get your cotton pads in the bargain shops because I went in boots, first of all, and for one of these like cylinder packets, it's two pounds. Absolutely ridiculous. I think this double pack in BLM was like a pound if that. So yeah, and I've got these uh, bigger ones too, which were only a pound too. So just so you know. Um, I got this little bottle of Evian. It was so cute. I just really like the bottle. I'm gonna keep that in my handbag because I always need water on me. Um, I got a shaving foam. I don't really give a crap which one I get. I liked the packaging of this one. That was under a pound as well. They didn't have the shower gel I used, so I had to get this one, but it was pink, so mm, but I'm fussy with my shower gels. And then I got these, which look really cool. These are um, Kiss Gel Fantasy Ready to Wear um, toenails. But can you see they've got like that rainbow glitter on them? I've got an event to go to on Saturday night and I've got these new Gucci shoes and I can't wait to wear them but my toes are vile so I'm like this is going to be my little saving grace. I never get my toes done either because I just can't be asked. so they were 6 dollars I think so I thought that was well worth it. Um, and then I just went in a top shop and there was this little, I always wear these little vest tops so it was reduced to £3 so I just got one of these. Um, and then I also got my hair dye and boots so I got the one I usually get, which is the 3.0 Soft Black. I always get Olia. I love Olia. And then I also got the uh, 1.0 Deep Black, because I think I'm going to actually go black rather than brown, because I've just wanted to for a while. Um, and then the last thing was just a necklace as well from Topshop um, in outfit. And it's just this three-tier one, which I thought was really nice. It's got like a little opal in it and stuff. And it was like £6, so I thought, why not? cute little dainty necklets but yeah that's um that is everything I got today wasn't that exciting to be honest but yeah all good um I'm gonna go get some dinner also I got a um, gift card from Prep Manger because complained about their coffee I'm sorry, I asked for a white coffee, like filter coffee, and it comes out literally like this color. Like, it's ridiculous. So they are very nice and sent me a five pound gift card, but I, I honestly didn't even want that. I just would rather they just make my coffee properly. Where's my phone? I just heard a beep. So it's 7.30, I've had a long ass day. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff away. My room feels just dirty and messy. I need to really make time and have a deep clean of it because right now it feels gross I think I might just do that now to be honest because it's still light um so I'm gonna have a clean I do need to have like an actual declutter as well but I don't have time for that tonight so I'm just gonna give it a good um good old clean guys so I thought I'd continue the vlogs this is like four days later, three days later, it's Saturday today, and I thought I would just continue the vlogs through. I am busy today, I'm going to work, so I won't be able to film that, of course, um, but I did want to film this morning and this evening, because this evening I'm going to my cousin's 30th birthday, um, that's at the city ground here, so it's going to be really, really fun. I've got like a ball gown and everything, so I thought it'd be nice for you guys just to come along to that as well, and because the last vlog I don't think was very long, so it'll be good. Anyway, getting straight into it. This is the struggles of going to work and then having to like quickly go out later. So I didn't put like any foundation on today. I just put, um, my hair is not done, so like... Basically, when I finish work, I've got an hour to get ready before we have to go back out again. So I'm going to need to curl my hair. And I have not put any foundation on because I've put, like, I put cream products. So then I can, like, go over the top of it. Because if I set the powder and then you go over the top of that, it doesn't look right. But obviously, I actually want to look presentable today. 
I can't put mascara on because I'm wearing eyelashes later and I'm one of those people that does not understand how you put mascara and then put eyelashes. I always put eyelashes then mascara and I can't put lashes on if I have mascara on because I've got quite long lashes anyway so I'm kind of like all over the shop trying to put them on. Um, so I've just literally done brows, I've done like a bit of a smoky which I can darken later and put glitter on later um, and just a nude lip and I think it looks okay. It's fine, I don't really care and I look really weird because I've got, I've, um, by the way my face is not yellow, it's because I think the light's shining in on the mirror and it's making my face look really yellow and then this super like grey dark but I've just put tan on so it's like really, it kind of looks a bit patchy on camera and a bit grey but it's not going to look like that, I'm, <laughs> I wear a shirt when I'm at work as well so it's cool um, yes, so I'm going to let this develop um, oh my god we need to have a conversation though but yesterday, last night I went and watched Mamma Mia 2. Oh my god. I just need to warn everybody, if you're not, like, you have to be emotionally prepared for that film. I cried six times. I cried six times at the storyline. It was ridiculous. Um, I, spoiler alert, so if you're going to watch it, well some people already know this because I think, if, like, most people know it, but I did not know it. So spoiler alert, click off if you don't well click like to the next <laughs> next I don't know how many seconds I'll put it on the screen if I remember probably not but there you go um yeah so Donna's dead and the whole movie is based around uh Sophie like honoring her memory and everything and like when they first said that Donna died I was like I cried immediately and they say that within the first like five minutes of the movie I cried straight away I was like what the hell why is she dead like, they finished Mamma Mia 1 and, like, it was all happy, she just got married, like, why did she die? And they don't explain to you in the movie, they don't disclose how or why she died, and I don't like that. The whole movie, I was basically waiting for that to come out, um, and there wasn't anything, so I was kind of distracted the whole time. It's very, very emotional, the movie. Um, the ending, which I won't spoil, is the most emotional part, I was bawling my eyes out. Um, but yeah, I just don't agree with the storyline, like, I wish they did not kill off Donna, because the storyline itself was amazing, but it would have been ten times better and happier if they took that morbid sort of overhang out of it all. Um, I think that was apparently exactly what the, what the producer wanted to do, was, like, have this morbid background bit, and I was like, no way, Mamma Mia is, like, fireworks and love and everything's perfect, like, I did not want that so I was very upset about that and I just want to clarify so Mamma Mia 1 is always going to be amazing but I'll never be able to watch it the same again because now I know that Donna dies and we don't know how or why and I don't like it at all let me know what you think if you've seen Mamma Mia 2 um do you like the storyline did you think it was completely wrong that they did that because I did I really really thought it was ridiculous um I probably won't speak to you anymore this morning I'll probably see you when I'm getting ready this evening but yeah this lighting is dreadful absolutely dreadful <laughs> sorry bad vlogger didn't roll when I was getting ready my plus one boyfriend for the night that's the thumbnail right there
know. I'm like, a change man. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we've come outside because Henry's smoking. But I'm here with Gromo. Here with Gromo. This is the Gromit. Reminds me of Milo. Amy. The Gromit. Do you want to stop reminiscing with Milo and sit to Callum? I know, I miss Milo. This is Gromit. I'm sitting next to a Gromit. My lady's best friend sucks. I know, I can't wait to see Milo. I said I can't wait to see Milo. Gromo. Yeah, no, I'm with Gromit and I love Gromit. What do you want to? Do you want to? So, if you don't know, in England, in England, in Bristol, these things are dotted all over the city. Now you might know Wallace and Gromit. So Wallace and Gromit was actually created in Bristol. Um, so they're a very big symbol to us. So all over Bristol, there is all these grommets that have been painted by different artists. Oh, right, okay. As well, you can see, it's, on the way, okay? like, it's painted uh, all differently. Doing, okay? um, and they do something called the Grommet Trail, which is where you go all around Bristol into okay, different places and you find all the different grommets. So this is one of them outside Ashton Gate Stadium where we are tonight. And I thought I'd take a picture with the Grommo. Because he reminds me of Milo. Look, he's looking that way. Now he's looking at you. 
Grummo. What is this vlog turning into, I swear? We love the grommet. The grommet is so cute. Mm. We love you, grommet. We love you, grommet. I just had the hugest stress. This is the next day, again by the way, we're on Sunday now. Um, I just had the hugest stress because I thought I lost this camera. I was screaming, I was shouting, I was, I was like, oh my god, I fucking lost it. Fucking, I can't even fucking buy it anymore. Because this camera, you can't, I can't, you can't buy it. It's discontinued, it's gone. I mean, you can't even get it on eBay. And if you can, it's like double the price, which is, it isn't particularly worth it, it would be for me, but it isn't really worth it. Oh. Thank God I found it because I was like, I don't know what I'd do without this camera. I think my vlogs will stop if I ever lose this camera, if it dies. <sighs> Literally, I can't vlog with anything else. This is the best camera Canon has ever made. They need to make another one like this. Um, Right, I wanted, I, the only reason I thought about it was because I needed to, it was literally sitting here. My camera was sitting where you are right now on top of my candle there, and but closed. And I was like, oh my God, where is it? I'm sure it was on this table. I'm sure I've seen it. Anyway, oh, don't like that side image of me there. Um, I've been out today with Nan and Grant, went over for Sunday dinner. Um, and we went to the shops and I bought Milo a couple of presents. So I got him another Jeff toy, which is like this. And I got him a glow-in-the-dark ball. So I don't know, I think I'll leave this still another day. But give him his new Jeff today because he'll really like it. So let's go give Milo Jeff. This is Jeff the third, so... Milo, I got you a present today. I got you Jeff the Third! Look, it's Jeff the Third! Yeah! He's Jeff the Third! Yeah! 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 Should we break, take his label off? That's why I was looking. That's why I was looking for my camera, because I was like, I want to film giving it to Milo. Oh, your breath is so bad. Ready? Look in! What you got? You got a new chair? You, you don't see them that often in there now. Can we pin the other ones? Yeah, yeah. so that's what I will I'll keep. If I buy them another one, it'll be. Show him me. Show him daddy. Come here, show the camera. Where's Jeff? Yay! Jeff the turn! Alright, so, looking a mess, but I'm so tired, I'm going to bed, literally, like, in a minute. Not bed, <laughs> going to lay in bed, in this beautiful sun. It's, like, my favourite thing to do. Right, um, I went out today, and I'm gonna... So, one of my best friends, Steph, um, she's just moved to Bristol today, technically. Um, she's living in, literally, a house, like, a stone's throw away. So I just was out today and I was, th I was thinking about her and I wanted to make her a little gift. I wanted to get her like a balloon to say, you know, like, welcome to your new home and things like that. But there was no, um, there was nowhere open. So I just went in home bargains to get stuff for myself I needed to get. Oh my God, some absolutely amazing <laughs> bargains in there. I cannot even tell you. So I got these, which I always get in there, um, like wipes. But these are Handy Wipes Festival Edition, which are 10 antibacterial refreshing wipes. Great for life on the go. There's four packets that come for 69p. I'm thinking about it now and I wish I got like so many more packets because you like you don't see these in there all the time but I absolutely love these they are just so handy I'm always using wipes when I'm out so I got those so like one of them will go straight in my handbag another one will go straight in my work bag yeah I bought this bag to put her stuff in um I have this benefit um makeup bag which I'm gonna give her which is a spare one but I know she likes benefit, so I was just like, oh, makeup bag, perfect. So I'm going to put that in, she's going travelling as well, and who doesn't love a makeup bag? 
Um, I just got her some of these grips, these hair tie things. Like this isn't, this is just useful stuff for her. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a gift gift. Um, it's just like, oh, I thought of you. You know, now you're living on your own. Um, some little hair ties because she loves these these ones, the ones with wires. Um, then I got right. I got a packet of jammy dodgers because they're very English, and I'm like, why not? Um, and then I got her this candle in. Uh, home bargains this is honestly absolutely amazing value and the smell like you guys know I'm so fussy so fussy with candles I've got Tom Ford I've got Bath and Body Works I've got NARS I've got friggin uh, Kringle I'm very very fussy this which is vanilla cream sundae from home bargains this is three pounds 2.99 and it is just stunning. I wish I picked up another one for myself and I've got to be honest. It doesn't smell cheap at all. And it doesn't smell like a vanilla candle. I literally hate it so much when companies, um, like the cheap knockoff companies, do something like this. And they put a really beautiful picture on the front and they're like, vanilla waffle sundae with caramel syrup and la la la. And you smell it and it's literally just like a fucking regular cheap ass vanilla candle. And it's like, ugh. But this... Oh my goodness, you can smell the ice cream, you can smell the sprinkles, you can smell the friggin' cherry on the top, like, it's just great. This is so good. If you've got a home bargains near, you get this, and huge, 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 and for that value, it's amazing, so, candle, um, candle for Steph, I was about to say candle likes Steph, but Steph likes candles is what I was trying to say, so, let me just put that in here, I've got to wrap, I'm going to wrap it up anyway, put those in there. Um, and then I got her also, these are probably two of the absolute best deals I've ever seen in Home Bargains. Actually three, three of the best deals. No, four, four of the best deals. My bad. So the first thing when I went in there was this pair of eyelashes. So this is the Eyelier Enchanted After Dark, hashtag I need my beauty sleep. Um, they got a number? I don't know these lashes here beautiful pink packaging again I'm just thinking now like why did I not buy more these were $1.99 these are stunning can you see they're like fluttery but not too big and not too small so got these these are for me um then I went in and got this this is amazing this is the one of the best deals ever let me just put it up here I'm leaning over a lot now um this is I absolutely love the House of Holland there was these House of Holland nails in there, which are like Ruby, what is it? Ruby Tuesday. And they got black and red sparkles all over them. These were $2.99 for these. I could not believe it. These are like $8.99 in boots, if not more. Um, and they're they're perfectly this like absolutely the same. So I got those from me for I rarely wear um stick-ons these are my nails I rarely wear stick-ons but if I ever have a quick night out or I have a do I'm reds really in at the moment so I was like I have to pick those up just to keep um and then I also got in there there was this so Maybelline baby lips and this is the holiday spice vanilla cupcake flavored lip balm um and I've not bought baby lips for so long but this this was 69p 69p for the baby lips. I think these are like 2 dollars in boots. So I was like, cannot pass that up. Vanilla cupcake for me. And then they also had the holiday spice chai tea latte flavoured lip balm. And I've got that for Steph because I think she'd prefer that over this. It's like mine and hers. So that's going to go with Steph's stuff in the bag here. And then for the creme, de la creme of bargains you've ever seen in your whole life. Are you ready for this? They had, in Home Bargains, a Real Techniques brush. This is the big brush. I don't know if it's got the number on it. I don't know what it is. I've had this one before, I'm sure, but it's just basically the big fluffy powder brush. But it's in this gold and black, I don't know what packaging, I don't know if it was limited edition, exclusive edition it says. Do you know how much this was? This sells in boots for £10 or 9 99 whatever you want to say. I got this in Home Bargains for 2 99 2 99 Your girl went ham. Your girl was like, I need three of these. I have no idea why. Um, 
also slightly regretting now not just buying all of them because I can gift these literally to every girl I know. Like, there was about, there was actually a pile of them. I say there was like 20 there. Can you imagine buying that? You'd only pay 40 quid for 20 Real Techniques brushes. So one of them's for me, one is for Steph, and one I got as a gift. I, I don't even know if I'll use one myself. I gotta be honest, I meant to keep two as a gift. Like, I'm doing this thing, this, this year I've done this thing where I've been buying the presents like, I bought most of my presents in the Boxing Day sale last year. I've always wanted to be one of those people that can do that. Um, so I tried it last year, with Steph, coincidentally. I spent 60 quid on £120 worth of stuff, because everything was, like, half price um, after Christmas, the Christmas sets and that. And I did it. So I've slowly been, like, stockpiling little things this year, like, either things I got sent, a couple of things I got sent in PR. I know people don't like that, but at the end of the day, if I can give it to my friend, then I'm going to give it to my friend. If I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to force myself to use it. I've got so much product. Um, so I give it to a friend. Um, but these, I was like, I just have to keep them, like, that's ridiculous. And then I got boring things like cotton pads and stuff. But, yeah, so Steph's getting this little um, care package. I suppose, welcome gift from me when it's packaged up nicer um, and I'm gonna go see her at some point this week. She's literally like, I could walk there and now she's like that close, she's in my pyjamas. Um, I could literally walk there right now. But we're gonna do like a proper sleepover that I'm gonna plan properly like when we were kids um, very soon so I'll touch base on her with that and we'll see. But I just wanted to show you what I got because those bargains were beyond me. Beyond, beyond me.